Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Living with Michelle Davenport. Today I am going to make the third part of my three part series on sourdough. And we are making pizza! <laughs> I'm so excited for pizza. Um, anyway, so just come along with me in the kitchen and I'm gonna ground up some uh, vegan Italian mock meat and put some mushrooms on it some jalapenos, some vegan mozzarella. We are gonna have a blast. So I just want you to go over here in the kitchen with me and let's get started. I'm gonna show you how easy this sourdough pizza is to make. Um, I got this recipe from Farmhouse on Boom from Lisa um, and I will leave her information below. You are gonna be blown away at how easy this pizza is to make. And if you've got a sourdough starter, you're good to go. See you in the kitchen. Okay, we're going to ground up some mock Italian sausage and I'm going to throw some mushrooms in there and we are going to put a little olive oil infused with some garlic. Um, if you hadn't had this, Trader Joe's is it's amazing. I'm just going to cook this until it gets all brown and toasty. Go ahead and throw some uh, mushrooms in there. And this is going to be some of our topping for our pizza. And then I, I will not use all of this, this mixture. So I will use it into a pasta dish um, probably sometime over the weekend. I'll make pasta and then add this to it with a red sauce. Because um, I'm just making a 10 inch cast iron skillet pizza. And I didn't tell you that. You can do this on, I <laughs> catch my hair on fire. <laughs> um, you can do this on a cast iron, in a cast iron skillet, your pizza, or a pizza stone. You just want to make sure you get it really hot at a 425 oven. Leave it in there for about 15-20 minutes. Get it scalding hot. And then you're going to just dump your sourdough starter right in the pan and move it all around. And it'll already start cooking. That's it. That's your pizza dough. Can anybody say woohoo? <laughs> um, it just doesn't get any simpler than that, y'all. And then you just put your toppings on it. Now, vegan or non-vegan, I mean, you, you put whatever toppings you're on, but the sourdough pizza crust is just sourdough starter. So, amazing. And I think Lisa got it. She said she read it online somewhere, and then she just kind of tweaked it to make it her own. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm tweaking the stuff that I'm putting on it to make it my own. But the base of it is sourdough starter. I'm going to go ahead and throw some garlic in here too. Italian seasoning. It is a pizza. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment. Tell me how, how. what's your favorite pizza to either make or, or get while you're out and about. And let me know, have you ever made sourdough crusted pizza? I'd be curious. I love jalapenos on my pizza. They have come such a long ways as far as stuff that vegan, that's vegan. This is uh, my So Delicious and, oh my gosh, mozzarella. They also, uh, I mean, they just have an array of different kinds of cheeses that are not, that doesn't have any dairy in them. No animal product. If you're interested in stuff like that. Bring the sourdough a little closer. All right. Screaming hot. As you can see, screaming hot pan. 
Okay, I got it where you can see. Now what you're gonna do is you are simply, there's my toppings, and you're simply gonna scoop on some of your sourdough starter into your pan, your screaming hot pan. And you're gonna cover it So far I've got two ladles, maybe one more will do. Okay, and you're just gonna cover it. And the bottom's already gonna be cooking. You just wanna add a big layer. Just like that. Spread it out there. And then you're going to put it back in the oven and you're going to let it cook. I can already see that it's already starting to cook on the bottom and the sides. I don't know if you can see that, but it's already starting to cook. And we're going to let that cook for about, I don't know, 10 minutes at 425. And it should make the crust. And I'll show you when it comes out. All right, y'all. Pizza dough. Pizza dough. <laughs> Pizza crust. <laughs> um, Looks good. I didn't tell you, but before, I sprayed the bottom with uh, some coconut oil, but you can also put olive oil or whatever you want down on the bottom. Once it comes out of the oven, before you put the sourdough, go ahead and um, give it a shot of olive oil or canola oil or coconut oil, whatever. And then when it comes out of the oven, give it a little sprinkle of olive oil again. And then go ahead and just put your toppings on. Now remember, I went ahead and did my meat and my faux meat and my mushrooms all together. So this is mushrooms and Italian vegan mock meat. So I'm gonna put that on there. I did a little olive oil. and sprinkle that all around. And then I'll save the rest of this for, I'll make a, a pasta with this as well. We're just feeding two people most of the time. Now you want to do a little Italian seasoning on there to season your pizza. Just give it more flavor. So just, and I found with dry seasonings, if you'll just uh, rub back and forth in your fingers like that, it brings out the flavor better in dried herbs than just to throw it on there. Smush it, rub it back and forth between your fingers. It'll give it more flavor. And then of course you want to add a little salt and pepper. Add some pepper. I like the pink salmon lay in salt. A little salt. And then add your cheese. Add a little bit. And then I'm going to add a layer of jalapenos. Probably shouldn't add too many. My husband isn't real privy on uh, tons of heat on his pizza. Okay. And then you just want to add some more cheese. A bit more. Well, a little bit more. Why not? Just why not? There you go. Just finish it. Okay, it is looking mighty fine. And then this sweet chili sauce from a lady that makes this in Missouri. There. And Lisa also turned me on to this too. <laughs> so, and then you're just gonna drizzle your pizza back and forth. 
and you are going to pop it in the oven. And this has a little heat to it too. You're going to pop this in the oven and you're going to cook it until the cheese is melt. And then at the last, maybe the last minute, you want to turn your boiler on and go ahead and make it really good and gooey and just kind of make it bubbly with the boiler on. So just pop it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, let's try this pizza. Because I'm thinking it's amazing. Smoking hot though. Alright. Let me get over here. <laughs> I'm just having difficulties today with my camera and my setup. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me just get down here. <laughs> I told y'all. Okay, let me try this pizza because, man, mm, it smells like a traditional pizza. It's got like a thin crust. I mean, seriously, guys, seriously. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna eat all this pizza before my Superman gets home and I guess I'll feed him pancakes. <laughs> now on a serious note, this is delicious. If you like thin crust, you are gonna absolutely love this pizza. It is so good. The texture is just like a thin crust pizza. The jalapenos, the Italian meat, mock meat, the mozzarella cheese I put the uh, boiler on just to boil it just for like probably 90 seconds made all the difference it bubbled up as soon as it started bubbling I took it out you guys this pizza is the bomb you are going to love it all right as always stop uh, as always stop by as always thank you for stopping by simple living and uh, Get you a, if you don't have a sourdough starter, get you one. I've got directions. I'm going to leave them underneath all three parts of this series so you can make your own starter dough. And uh, you can make all these recipes if you have a starter. If you have a sourdough starter, you can make them all. And you've seen how easy that was. Throw the, just throw the starter in the cast iron. Or use a, um, a pizza stone. Either one. A baking stone. But you've seen how it is. It didn't have to rise. You didn't have to do anything. You threw it in there and it cooked. 